Hello. Today I'm going to provide you with a quick tutorial on creating a map with the ATI AgBot along with our Ag Planner app. Let's get started. First, open the Ag Planner app. Once running, you will see what we call the flight data screen. This is where you will be able to find all critical information about the AgBot while it is in flight. Make sure your data link is connected to the tablet. At the bottom of the screen, you will see an icon that says connect. Pressing this will connect your device with the AgBot. We will come back to the flight data screen in a moment, but now that we are connected, let's create our flight plan. To do this, click on the drop down menu in the top left and select editor. Here you will see four icons on the left side of your screen. For the purposes of mapping, we will primarily be using the survey polygon tool. Before using this tool, you will want to pinch to zoom in and out to the desired view so that you can see the entire area that you will be mapping. Once the entire area is in view, Select the Survey Polygon tool and you will see the words Draw the Survey Region appear at the bottom of the screen. Simply draw an outline of the area you want to map. You don't need to be exact at this point, just get as close as you can. Once you have outlined the area you want to map, you will see a series of grid lines and red pins appear on the screen. This is indicating the flight plan that is needed to cover the entire area. To fine tune the flight plan, use Pinch to zoom in and hold your finger over one of the red pins to select and move it to the desired location. Once you have the area selected, zoom back out so that you can see the entire area again. At the bottom of the screen you will see one green icon has been generated. Selecting this icon will allow us to input settings into our survey polygon tool. The first thing we want to do here is select the camera we are using so that we can ensure our map has the desired overlap and side lap. This is a very important step because the software uses the sensor size, focal length, and altitude of the camera to determine where to trigger each image. So let's select the drop down menu next to camera and select the MicaSense Red Edge camera. Next, we need to set our flight altitude to the desired elevation. Most of our clients typically map at 60, 90, or 120 meters. Next, we need to select our desired overlap and side lap for our images. Overlap and side lap percentage is simply the amount each image overlaps the previous image or the next image that is taken. We recommend a minimum of 75% overlap when mapping, but certain projects may require a higher or lower amount of overlap. The last selection is the hatch angle. This selection will tell the AgBot which direction you want it to fly when making the map. By default, flight plans are set to north and south. For most projects, this should work fine, but when working with certain types of crops, we need to adjust this hatch angle to fly parallel or perpendicular to the crop rows. To do this, simply slide the hatch angle to the desired orientation of your field. Now that we have our sensor selected, altitude, side lap, overlap, and hatch angle set, we are ready to upload the flight plan to the AgBot. Click on the top right drop-down menu and select Send Mission. When you do this, you will be asked if you'd like to set a home and return to launch location. Click yes. This is a very important step. Next, it's time to return to the flight data screen. Select the top left drop down menu and press the flight data screen button. This will return us to the home screen we started on. Here you will see that we are receiving pitch roll yaw feedback from the AgBot as well as battery voltage, distance to home, number of satellites, and a live map showing the flight plan of the AgBot along with its location. The AgBot is now ready to start mapping. Please remember to always follow the AgBot Quick Start Guide and pay close attention to the safety procedures outlined in it. To launch the AgBot, select the arm icon and press launch. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in for the most recent tutorials and videos from ATI.